Hello everybody, uh, my name is Raphael Delhomme. Uh, I work at uh, Oslandia, which is a small French company uh, specialized in GIS application and open source, uh, open source tools. So I, I will present uh, a work about uh, ba back sharing station uh, analysis. Uh, this work has been done by Damien Garot, uh, which is uh, one of my colleagues and, uh, and me. So to introduce my speech, uh, you certainly know what is uh, a shared bike services. So this picture comes from Lyon in France. So you, I in large cities, you might want to, to do some uh, little travel uh, wi within the city and you might need some, some uh, transportation mode. So a shared bike is a, is a good solution, easy to use and uh, the, the, the great uh, question to answer is are there uh, available bikes at stations or if you have uh, a bike uh, are there available uh, stations to, to drop, o drop off your bike so that's this kind of question that we, we try to, to answer and we, we did some, some analysis uh, by using uh, some machine learning uh, uh, application. So the, the first question we wanted to, to answer is the, the fact that a bike sharing station uh, can be classified in terms of uh, uh, the way user uh, use them. Uh, so maybe there are some similar patterns uh, between, between stations. Uh, and we, we also, uh, we were also fo focused uh, on, uh, on the, the building of a complete uh, data framework, a complete data pipeline from open data so uh, you can uh, gather some da such data on open uh, portals. Uh, so from portals to uh, 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 homemade uh, API, uh, for example, and by uh, store uh, store data or by um, apply some treatments. And that's the c this complete framework uh, we were interested in. So in this presentation, I will present you uh, what is the data we, we used. Uh, then uh, the part two and three uh, are some proof of concept of uh, the, the types of uh, uh, analysis we, we can handle with such data. And uh, to, to finish the presentation, I will show you a, a short API, a little API, API sorry, uh, that we developed. So just to begin, uh, we, we talked about geospatial data uh, we are interested in how uh, bike sharing station works so we can uh, recover, we can gather this data on a public portal. So for example, we worked with uh, the data of Lyon and the data of Bordeaux, uh, two French cities. So <coughs> it could uh, seem a little bit rough, but uh, such data are not so complicated to, to handle because we just have uh, some station IDs, some types timestamps, and at each uh, timestamp for each station, we have a number of uh, available bike station, a number of available bike, and the sum of these two quantities is normally equal to the number of station uh, of uh, spots of the stations. So we also have some station which doesn't work. So in this such an example, we can see that there are no available station and no available bike uh, on the second line. So that means that the station is closed. And in our studies, we just manipulate this kind of data set of, uh, of the data frame. How we handle this data? So we worked with Python uh, and to build our data pipeline, we use uh, Luigi, which is a, a Python library uh, dedicated to data pipeline uh, uh, building. So the, the fact was to uh, get the data on the portals. So the data was on uh, JSON and JSON formats, on XML formats. We, we were able to find some shapefiles too. 
Uh, and the objective was to store th this data in base and to apply some treatments, some machine learning treatments uh, to, to them. So the first uh, application, the, the first uh, anali analysis that we, we did uh, with the data was to classify a uh, bike sharing station in terms of their utilization. So we have some uh, stations that are not so well used. We have stations that are uh, uh, very used uh, on the evening, uh, other ones that are uh, very used uh, on the morning, and so on. So we, we, we wanted to know uh, how this uh, can work, uh, how a, a system uh, in a city uh, can work. <coughs> When I talk about time series, so it's uh, availability bike time series, and we have some example. Uh, for example, in green, uh, through one day, uh, we can see a station. So on the beginning of the day, there are a lot of bikes available at the station, and on the evening, it's the, the opposite. We have, uh, so in orange and blue, some other example. And this work was inspired from a similar work uh, done for Dublin city by James Lolo. Uh, and the result of such a clustering was this kind of, of uh, figure. So we have four groups of stations. Uh, these results uh, are for Lyon, the city of Lyon. And we, find we found one cluster uh, which uh, gather all the, the stations uh, that are where a lot of bikes are uh, on the during the day, but not during the night. So that's the blue cluster. Uh, there is an opposite cluster in red where a lot of bikes are uh, on the station during the night, but not during the day. So we can see that it means different situation. Uh, in blue, it's probably a place where people live uh, or um, work, sorry. And in red, it's where people live. So they take the, the bike on the morning uh, and uh, go with the bike where they live. And on the evening, they, they'll take back the, back the bike and uh, set it uh, in the, the place they live. Uh, in uh, purple, we have another cluster which uh, represents a uh, station where people can go out in the evening, for example, so place near to restaurants or bars and, and, and so on. And we can, to, to, to make it more clear, uh, we can set all the station uh, with this clustering representation. So it's the city of Lyon. And I don't know if somebody in, this in, the, uh, in the room know, uh, knows Lyon. Uh, so we have the, I will begin with the purple uh, circle. So uh, the place where we, uh, we go out uh, on the evening, so it's the city center with all the restaurants and bars and so on. Uh, we have the place where we walk uh, in blue. So it's the business, uh, business uh, neighborhood. Uh, with the, the main station. We have the, the universities uh, on, the, on the top of the graph. And uh, all the red points, uh, it's uh, mainly a um, uh, place where people live. So with a lot of, uh, of uh, re residential uh, area. So that's it for the first, uh, the first example uh, of application. Then, uh, after that, we tried to, to predict the av availability of uh, bikes at uh, shared bike station. So, <coughs> what we know in such situations, so we, we know the, the date, the time of the day, we know how many bikes there are at the station, but the question we want to answer is uh, how many bike, bikes uh, will, uh, will be there uh, on the station in the next hour. So <coughs> it means that we will use uh, supervised learning uh, to, to use the, the, availability, uh, inf the available information to predict a, a new information. And we can verify our prediction because we have the data uh, in uh, so 
we used the method which is called XGBoost. So I won't enter into the detail of the met method, but to, to, be, uh, to be as simple as possible, uh, XGBoost uh, is it's a decision tree method. So we, uh, we use uh, de decision trees and um, uh, um, gradient, uh, gradient uh, method. So <coughs> the, the why we want to, to predict is the availability probability of finding a bike at the next hour. And the information we have, so x, x variables are the hour, so the time of the day. Uh, the day, so uh, in the week, uh, is it a Monday, is it a, a Tuesday, uh, and so on. Uh, and the available bikes at the, the current hour. So just to, to show you some, uh, some uh, picture uh, uh, of the proof of concept, uh, on the top uh, you have um, the prediction of the model. On the bottom you have the ground truth. So we, we, don't, we won't go into the detail, but we can see that uh, even if it's small, the blue points are <coughs> really uh, similar in the, in the two graphs and the red points as well. So when it's blue, it means that in one hour, there will be a lot of bikes at the station. And when it's red, uh, it means that uh, it will be hard to find uh, bikes. So it's uh, a synthetic uh, scale between 0 and 1. And what is interesting, uh, that if we plot the error uh, on, on the left, you can see that there are not so much stations where the, the model is not good. So we have just uh, two stations maybe on the, on the, on the left, uh, which indicates that the model is not able to, to predict the, the good amount of bikes uh, there. So we, we didn't really uh, work on the on the features. We we won't. We didn't try to to improve the definition of feature to to get a, a better uh, error uh, indicator. But it could be a possibility to to get a, a better uh, result. So. To finish the presentation, I can show you a little uh, demo of uh, our API. API. Uh, so that's on the internet. Uh, I'll click on this link. And this API has been developed uh, with Flask, uh, so it's a REST API. We have the two cities, so Bordeaux and Lyon. We can uh, imagine to, to gather more data from more cities to add them uh, to the, the API. Uh, there is a project on GitHub. I will give you the, the address at, at the end. Uh, and uh, there is a documentation. Uh, so it's not really a documentation. It's more a way to, to, to get some data in a JSON format. We can try. A little demo. So we have one table, uh, and we can try to to gather some that data. So maybe uh, by indicating a, a date. Uh, so we had data uh, of. So the data was from uh, September uh, or uh, August, from uh, to September. Sorry, uh, we can get three three days of data we can focus on Lyon again and ID is for uh, the IDs of uh, the bike sharing station so it's a it's a try on I'm not sure yes well <laughs> I don't know the, the ID of the station by heart but that's the the ID and if you, you, you can so execute the, the, the request and get all the data in the JSON format. So maybe I will have another example after, but that's the, the global ID. Uh, with, that, with this request uh, tool, uh, we have a graphic, uh, graphical uh, parts uh, for the, the API. So we can uh, represent all the stations in, uh, in uh, Lyon and in Bordeaux. Uh, we, 
can zoom and get the, the station name, for example, this one is uh, Tolstoy Verlaine. Uh, we have a list of stations and all the uh, transactions, so there is nothing there. Where is my mouse? So we can also click on the station to have some more information about the, the, the station. So for example, this station is uh, Terro Les Termes. Uh, so this station is located on the city center. Can and zoom. We have some uh, information. We have the daily profile. So it's a station where people uh, go on the, the evening. Uh, there are a lot of bikes on the, on the evening. And we have also the daily uh, profile uh, for Monday, Tuesday, and so on. We have some time series uh, for the last day, and we have the last week if we if we want. And the last transaction. Uh, so, for example, we are uh, on we are the third of February. Uh, we still uh, get data every five or ten minutes, and so the API, API is able to to represent this, uh, this uh, recent data. So what I mean by transaction is a transaction is when someone take a bike or a drop off a bike to the station. So this is the GitHub project. Uh, oh it's called Jitan Shea. I, I don't know why, maybe it's Japanese. It's my colleague that named, uh, give this name. <laughs> so I, I, were, I was uh, not so confident in my <laughs> ability to, to show you the API. I, s I prepared some, some uh, screenshots. So j just this chart, I didn't show you this chart. It's the, the amount of transa transaction uh, for the, the most, uh, the most uh, used station. And we can see that the two stations that are the most used uh, are near to the, the train station, uh, Gare Pardieu. Uh, so that's a, a little indication of uh, how the, the network uh, is working. And that's it. So in conclusion, I hope I was able to show you that with a simple geospatial data, we uh, can uh, do some, some interesting stuff uh, with, uh, with machine learning. Uh, so we tried to, to build a complete data pipeline with Python uh, and Luigi. Uh, we did a little API that uh, if you're interested in, you, you can uh, uh, complete this, uh, this API. And our objective is to do online learning. So the little example I show you, uh, so we, we train uh, uh, an XGBoost method and clustering algorithm for only uh, one week of data. We have only one week of data. Uh, one objective could be to, to train uh, our uh, algorithm uh, online. So with new data, we get uh, better training and uh, and uh, have uh, something which is uh, of a good quality, either, uh, even with uh, neural data. So thank you for your attention. You have the address of the GitHub project there. You can also uh, go to the blog of uh, Auslandia to have some information. There are some uh, blog articles we, which are talking about this uh, project. And we can, uh, you can also send us email if you're interested. So thank you for your attention. <laughs> Maybe there are some questions.
you have like some API that is exposed to you? You, you, you are talking about uh, our API or the geospatial uh, uh, no, open no, portal? No, no, no. How, how are you collecting the data about the, the, the bicycle transactions? So you are providing that as a service to the city of Lyon? No, no, it's a, it's a R&D project. Okay. Uh, it could be an objective. Okay. Uh, the city of Lyon uh, yeah, offer, offer the data. Oh, cool, so the data and is basically free and then you could get it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we use, uh, you, you know, it is uh, open, open geospatial data. Okay. And uh, you just have to go on this website okay. and uh, gather the data. So the data are in geojson geo formats. Okay. In and, and XML how often format. They, they expose the data? Is it like daily thing? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every five minutes or oh, cool. so on. We just uh, uh, build a, um, a cron job okay. which gather yeah, the data every five really minutes okay. and uh, store them okay. into our database. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, your your patterns plot. Do you consider the data of just one day, just one one week, on the business days, or in this in this case? This yeah. one? The, no, this, not the, yeah. It's a typical day. It's a, a, a typical yeah. business day. Like yeah, exactly. Day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We we just mix every types of days. Yes. Uh, and these are four clusters, and how do you decide that these are four, not? Oh, that's uh, our choice of uh, ah, okay, model. Yeah, yeah. You choose four clusters. Yeah. And, and the second, if I have a question, is okay. So if you pick up a holiday, you probably get from the di different parts, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. We, we tried. We show the Lyon results, which is good. Yes. yes. The results in Bordeaux it is not so interesting. So okay. it you could really give. Uh, it depends on how the city is organized. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you, have you tried in Paris? Because no. The data is also available for, for Paris. Yeah, uh, certainly, but we didn't check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it could be interesting to add yeah. this. Okay. Uh, I'm also quite interested about the project. So yeah. Maybe we can continue to ask questions. Uh, yeah. Sorry. But if, no, no if you want, and after your question, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm just a curious one. Okay. About so, uh, you, you have a question? I maybe so it's not uh, some stations down and just provide data and whatnot. Do you have some special allowance system or do you have some kind of uh, separate uh, interface or API for the to get data or do you have some injection of new data? The question the question is about missing data? Yes. We just uh, gather the data. Uh, we have a cron job which recovers the data every five or ten minutes, uh, and we do not have any uh, uh, alerting uh, d uh, tool which uh, which uh, which says uh, oh warning there are missing data. We just uh, consider them uh, a posteriori uh, after gathering the data. I, I'm not sure about that. I, uh, it's not me that uh, did this this job, but I guess the missing data, the missing station are uh, dropped from the, the the study. Just dropped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I would say that this this job could be generalized to to everything if you have the the the, the same uh, pattern of data, the the same data. So it's geospatial data. Uh, you have a, a continuous uh, uh, data gathering process, uh, and it's just that. We didn't check the the ATM uh, ATM part. Uh, we just uh, were focused on bike sharing station because we did some work about transportation 
uh, how transportation is organized within the city, but uh, without, with no doubt, it could be possible. Do you cooperate um, with the bike sharing stations or providers to, to get this on the website? Or? Uh, not yet. We were just uh, at the proof of concept step. Uh, one one um, uh, perspective could be to you know to to give the uh, give this API or give <laughs> uh, propose the API to to the the service provider uh, because I don't know the 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 added value of such a thing uh, it's uh, a way to reformulate the data so maybe it could be interesting for us uh, but. The, the question was not really, uh, not yet uh, un uh, asked. Uh. Not so, not so well. But we did not, uh, we did not use uh, PostGIS for this study. Uh, everything was done with Python. So we use um, we use Ready, which is a, a data pipeline uh, builder, which we use uh, Scikit-Learn for machine learning stuff. Uh, we use Folium, uh, which is a, a library to to build uh, some maps and. W it's just uh, a way to represent information on maps, but uh, the only database uh, related uh, part of the project was the, the, the data storage. Uh, no no operation uh, was done on data uh, through uh, PostgreSQL on all purchase. It could be possible. That's a, a good question. Uh, as you as you said, uh, this kind of new actor uh, without stations, uh, it it uh, generates different results. Question, and uh, we are out of scopes. Maybe uh, we. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works. Uh, if you have a, a a kind of transaction when you drop your your bike uh, yeah, elsewhere. With a, a, p a password and okay. And the, uh, and the, the, the thing is, uh, the competition between the bio sector, the stations, and those without stations will be uh, the intensive management. Okay.
which makes that place here, like, like in, in New York. And uh, uh, before, uh, the, uh, the guys were coming with the trucks to get back all the bikes and to bring them in the other yeah. part of the city. And because of the work, it's really hard to make this <laughs> and, uh, and it's delayed. Uh, so you have plenty of bikes uh, in the downtown part. In the same uh, area, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a different problem because we do n do not have the the station availability uh, question, but uh, you can imagine uh, some uh, some uh, you know uh, it's not really this kind of application, but some sort of uh, uh, tr sale, um, traveling sa salesman problem maybe to find a bike which is the the nearest uh, bike uh, of you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely a different uh, problem. Uh, yeah, but it it could be very interesting to to work on. There is no incentive. To, uh, but uh, we have to stop. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there is there are incentives. Yeah. Sorry for the.